back at the Trial Farm Government School in Orange Walk North Division. And we've been joined by independent candidate Samantha Carlos. Samantha, how has it been going so far? Um, it has been going great. Um, thank God. I mean, I have the strength to be out here. Um, it's been going well for me. The people have been responding, you know, and I am encouraging everyone to come out to exercise their electoral right you now because we'll win, lose, or draw, you know. They have to make a choice, and the choice is theirs. So what is the central message that you're taking to the electorate of Orange Rock North? Well, the message that I am taking to them is that it's very easy. We need a change. We need development in our community. We need youth empowerment. We need to get our community involved. And so um, I am not here to pay, pay any money to anybody. I'm just bringing the facts as to what I can do. I want to create industries I need. I believe we have a lot of resources that we could tap into. And so this is what I'm telling the people that, well, I can bring the change with or without the government, actually. And do you explain how exactly that will be done? Yes, yes, I'm telling everybody that um, well, fi international financing is always out there. And um, well, I, I was a part of an organization called Share Belize. And so um, we were directly funded by the European Union, you know. We have been ha had trainings and, well, we know how to lobby and, well, we have the contacts. And so um, I am explaining to the people that these people out there in the international community are willing to, to donate monies to these causes because they want to see development in these, in these underdeveloped countries. And um, when you, I know you're new at the national level. Is it all that you expected? Um... I guess to an extent. Um, I didn't know what to really expect now. So um, the, the support has been overwhelming. Um, I believe that there, there are a little setbacks. I mean, just now the police officer was trying to escort me out of the polling area and he said he doesn't know what I'm doing in there, you know. So I guess that may be a little bit more education to some of the people that are working out here, you know. I mean, I didn't expect that. And so, well, maybe it's all a part of the game. But I'm here to expect the unexpected. Are you in this for the long haul or is it just a one-time thing? Oh no, I'm, I'm here to stay. Actually, um, what I'm doing, um, we are launching a, a campaign tomorrow. We start working on the ground tomorrow in the villages. We, we have been boxing clothing, clothing and food items because I have seen the need in the community. And because I don't want to use it as a political propaganda, I decided to not do it before the elections. And so I will start to work after the elections for the people to show them that I am here. I'm serious about the changes that I want to bring. And that, well, the community is behind me, no? I, they are willing to donate the things to us. And like I tell you, we don't need the government's help to, to distribute simple, basic items to people that need it. Samantha, thank you very much, and I leave you to go on to your campaigning again, the final hour oh, and change. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you very much for your time, too. Well, I just want everybody to come out, no? It is your right to vote, and, well, politics cannot come between friendships, and so you have a right, I have a choice, and, well, I respect everybody's choice. I just want everybody to come out. All right. That was Samantha Carlos, the independent candidate in Orange Walk North. As the hours are winding down, this is Avadia Sosa on behalf of Daniel Renault for Election Watch 2015.